Okay, we're gonna look. We're gonna take a look at graphing quadratics now that are in vertex form and intercept form. Quick review, our standard form is what we did previously where we have y equals ax squared plus bx plus c and a can't be zero. Well, we have two other forms that we can generally work with quadratics in and that is vertex form and intercept form. Now if you look at the differences between standard form, vertex form, and intercept form, standard form has no parentheses in it, vertex form has one set of parentheses that's squared and intercept form has two sets of parentheses. So that's how you can help identify what form you're in. We're going to focus on vertex form first. When we have vertex form, our value of a does the same things as it did in standard form. What is a little bit different now is we have this h and k in our equation. And what's nice about vertex form is it gives us the vertex. We don't really have to do any calculations to find it. One thing that you have to remember is when you're getting these numbers h and k, h is the opposite of what it is in the problem. k, you keep the same sign. So when we um, try when we try to get our vertex, you have got to remember to take the opposite of the h. Now, what about our axis of symmetry? If you recall, our axis of symmetry is that vertical line that goes right through the vertex. Since it's a vertical line, it's x equals, and it's our x-coordinate of whatever our vertex is. So our axis of symmetry is x equals h. Here's an example we'll use. First thing it wants us to do is indicate what the vertex is. Well, I've identified where my h and my k are. And I have to remember to take the opposite of the h. So instead of looking at it as a negative 5, my vertex would be at positive 5. Then my k is a positive 8, and I just keep the sign with it. So my vertex is at positive 5, positive 8. Next thing, the direction the parabola opens. We still look at the a just like we did when we learned standard form. Well, here, my a is a 1 and it's a positive one, so the parabola would open up. Then it wants us to decide, is it wider or narrower than my parent function? Well, the a in my parent function is also a one, so when you compare a one to a one, they actually have the same absolute value. So instead of being wider or narrower, it will actually be the same steepness. And then the last part here, the axis of symmetry. Well, our axis of symmetry is the vertical line x equals whatever the x-coordinate of our vertex was. So we have x equals 5. We're going to go ahead and graph one that is in vertex form. First thing I start with, just like before, is finding my vertex. So as I look at my equation, I know I need to take the opposite of the h, so instead of a positive 3, I need the negative 3, and then my k value. So my vertex is at negative 3, negative 6. Then, just like with standard form, we do a table of values. Well, I want to pick two values to the right of negative 3 and two values to the left of negative 3. So I'm going to go ahead and pick negative 4 and negative 5 for my values to the left, and I'm going to pick negative 2 and negative 1 for my values to the right. Now, to get their matching y partners, I do what we did with standard form. You plug the x value back in and then calculate it out. So when you plug in negative 4, you should get negative 4 back. When you plug in negative 5, you should get 2. When you plug in negative 2, you should get negative 4. And when you plug in the negative 1, you should get a 2 back. Once we have all of our points, you can go ahead and plot them. And this will get us our graph. Okay, and if you look at our graph, it opens up, which it should, because our a is positive. It's kind of narrow, because our a is 2. So we can go ahead and sketch that curve in there. And we're done with it.
Okay, here's the second one. What I want you to do is see if you can find your vertex and your table of values, see if you can get it graphed, and then go ahead and compare it to what we have. So pause the video right now and see what you can. Hopefully you got your vertex to be at 1, negative 2, and your table of values, I picked 0, negative 1, 2, and 3 and got these corresponding y values. If you pick different x values, you're going to have different y values that I, than what I got. Plotted my points and sketched in my graph. Notice it opens downward, which matches what I have up here because my a is negative. All right, now we're going to move on to intercept form. Now remember, intercept form is when we have two separate sets of parentheses. And what intercept form tells us are the x-intercepts. If this were to be our graph of our parabola, our x-intercepts are those places where our graph crosses the x-axis. And we can find those exact values right from our equation. And it says they're going to be at p and at q. One thing that you have to remember is that it's the opposite of both p and q. Um, another thing I need to point out is to be an intercept form, there has to be a 1 only in front of these x's. They can't have other values in front of those x's. So here's an example we're going to work with. It wants us to indicate the x-intercepts. Well, my x-intercepts are at the opposites of these two numbers. So my first x-intercept is going to be at negative 1. My next x-intercept is going to be at positive 6. So that tells me that the points where my graph crosses is when x is negative 1 and when x is positive 6. Next thing, it wants me to find the vertex. Now if you think about a parabola and the fact that it's symmetrical, when I find these two points which are right across from each other, their vertex has got to be right in the middle of those two points. Well, to find the middle of two numbers, I add them together and divide by 2. So I'm going to take negative 1 plus 6 divided by 2, and I end up getting a vertex at 2.5. Now that's only my x-coordinate of my vertex. To get my y-coordinate, I plug that back into my equation for both of my x's, and I calculate it out to figure out what my y is. Well, when you plug 2.5 back in, you get negative 24.5 for your y value. So our vertex is at 2.5, negative 24.5. Okay, next, the direction the parabola opens. R2 is positive, so it's going to open up. It wants to know if it's wider or narrower. So now I need to compare the 1 to the 2. Well, the absolute value of the 2 is bigger than a 1, so that means it is going to be narrower. And it finally wants to know what is my axis of symmetry. Just like with the other forms, our axis of symmetry goes right through that vertex. So, when I found my vertex, I also have my value for my axis of symmetry. So, x is equal to 2.5. It'll always match the x-coordinate of your vertex. Here's one that we're going to go ahead and graph. I start by finding my x-intercepts. Remember that you have to take the opposite of each of them. So, my first one is going to be when x is equal to negative 3. My next one is when x is going to be equal to 5. So I'm going to go down here and plot those points. There's my 3, and there's my 5. Now I have to find my vertex. I'm going to add those two together, divide them by 2, and I get the x-coordinate of my vertex to be equal to 1. Plug that 1 back in for both of your x's to figure out what your y-coordinate is. When you plug those back in, you end up getting 32. So my vertex is at 1, 32. You'll notice I changed my scale. I went by 3's because I needed to get it all the way up to 32. Now I'm going to go ahead and do a table of values. I need one point to the right and one point to the left because my intercepts are already one point on the right and one point on the left, so I only need one more to make my two points. Points I'm going to choose are going to be um, 0, 
and 2. When I plug 0 in there, I get 30 back. When I plug 2 in, I also get a 30 back. So at 0, I'm at 30, and at 2, I'm at 30. And from there, you can sketch your graph in. And we have our parabola. Okay, this one, I want you to find your intercepts, find your vertex, your table of values, and graph it. So go ahead and pause, do those things, and then check to see if you came up with the same thing I did. Okay, you should have found your x-intercepts to be at 3 and at 4. Your vertex is at 3 and a half, comma, negative 1 16th. And the table of values, I started with 2 and 5 and got a half back for each of those. But when I plotted those points, I didn't really like how my graph looked. I wanted a couple more points. So I chose to put two more points on there. I chose 1 and 6 just to give me a better idea of what my graph should look like. You don't have to do the additional points, but sometimes it helps you see your graph a little bit better. All right. The last thing we need to do is, what if we need to put something in standard form? You can manipulate the form of your equations without actually changing any of the values as far as the graph goes. So you're not going to change the graph, you're just going to change the form. And this example right here is in vertex form. Well, if you think about what standard form looks like, it doesn't have parentheses. So what we need to do is we need to figure out how can I get rid of these parentheses. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change it to intercept form. So I'm going to write that x plus 3 squared as x plus 3 times x plus 3. And now I'm going to FOIL that out because I know that FOILing is going to help me get rid of these parentheses. I'm not going to do anything with the 2 or the 7 yet. So when I FOIL this out, I'm going to have x squared plus 3x plus 3x plus 9. Now I've only got one set of parentheses instead of two. Well, I can get rid of that set of parentheses by distributing the two out. So I'm going to have 2x squared plus 6x plus 6x plus 9. And don't forget about your plus 7. And the last thing I need to do is combine like terms. So I'm going to have 2x squared my 6x and my 6x will turn into 12x. Oh, and this 9 should have been an 18. And my 18 plus 7 would give me a 25. So my standard form is y equals 2x squared plus 12x plus 25. Okay, here are some problems that I want you to give a shot and bring those to class when you come.